all stakeholders feel ownership are a win-win. So the question is, why don't we have many more? There are three main reasons. One is a complete lack of awareness. Most people don't know what marine reserves are. They don't understand what their benefits are. And many fishermen believe that they are a conspiracy from the conservation world to take them out of the ocean. Second one is that the gover governance structure tends to be um, inappropriate. Uh, in most countries, reserves are created from the top down, and it involves a government bureaucracy and uh, involvement of management by government agencies. But there are places like the Philippines where local communities are empowered to create and manage their own reserves, and that, that helps. And the third problem is the, the funding models have been wrong. Most reserves are seen as a sink of resources, public resources, the departments of the environment, the departments of fisheries, in some cases philanthropic money. But there, are, there is not enough money out there to be able to finance the creation and management of all the, of the reserves that uh, we would like to have. So the key issue here is to knowing that marine reserves, in addition to preserved biodiversity, are going to generate more jobs and increase economic revenue and help local fisheries in many places, why don't we think of marine reserves as business opportunities and think of them as uh, reserves that can pay for themselves and still turn a profit and create jobs, instead of seeing them as a sacrifice and a, and a sink of resources. And the key issue here is to identify who are the losers in the short term and how much loss are we talking about. This loss, this economic loss in the short term for the few years until the reserve builds up and provides a spillover and all this other economic revenue, this short term loss is the, probably the biggest roadblock for the creation of more reserves. If we apply basic business uh, philosophy here, we can develop a business plan for every reserve where all the stakeholders became shareholders with a share proportional to their investment. And think of that, um, that gap as an investment. And there are many uh, financing mechanisms that have been applied to land conservation or are being applied to business every single day that could be, apply, uh, could be applied here. And I'll be happy to discuss more then later, but they include insurance products, forward contracts, redirecting subsidies, um, municipal bonds, and, and many others. And right now, 1% of marine protected areas, the countries that signed the Convention of Biological Diversity agreed to protect 10% of the ocean by 2020. We have 6,000 reserves, some people say 9,000, we still don't know how many, but it's a very small percentage. Let's think only about the exclusive economic zones of the countries of the world for, for a moment. It's, this is 40% of the ocean. 10% of this, to, cover, to protect 10% of this by 2020, would mean that we would require many more reserves. How many? Right now, 6,000. The, the median size of the reserves is 5 square kilometers. There are a few large ones, like Chagos or the Phoenix Islands or Salagame. There are about 12 of them that account for most of the protection in the ocean. But we still need all these small reserves that are going to provide local benefits and protect local biodiversity. Taking and assuming that these reserves would have an average size of 5 square kilometers, we would have to go from 5,000, 6,000 to 2.5 million. And it's not going to happen. It's not, this is not going to happen with the traditional approach. So let's think of uh, developing a business model where the, share, the stakeholders become shareholders, all groups are involved, all that have ownership, and we make the creation and management of reserves independent when necessary. We make them independent of uh, central government bureaucracies. We make them, uh, we uh, finance them with private money or private uh, public partnerships. And I think that this will allow us to scale up. Okay, Henry, thanks very much.